Hi guys, Paul here. Uh, those of you that follow uh, our Facebook channel would be aware that I just got a hold of some Sunny Sky motors. These are the um, X2212 13s and they're um, 980kV motors. And on my quad, I've currently been running the Hobby King NTM uh, 2830s and I think they're 750kV, these motors, um, which work pretty good. They've been quite smooth, etc. But um, I want to really compare them against the Sunny Skies. One of the tests I did earlier on was I actually ran those my, my NTM motors up without the props on there. And I noticed there was definitely vibration going through the actual frame. So hence, this is the reason why I wanted to try, wanted to try out the Sunny Skies. And um, what we're going to do is run these two head-to-head. Uh, -head. We're going to run my iPhone as the um, vibration uh, sensor. And we're running both of them with the prop adapters on. And this will be the uh, comparison. I'll show you exactly what the vibrations like on each one of these. Go. Go to half. Half. Full. And stop. Okay. Half. Half. And here we have a side-by-side -side comparison between the two and this is half throttle and we're up to full throttle now and we're slowly going to come back down to half throttle and slowly coming back down to idle and there you go so the difference unfortunately i mean you're looking at a visual representation um if you sort of touch a quad and actually feel the vibration the difference is quite phenomenal uh the build quality out of the sunny skies seems to be far superior so um as far as value for money i think they're definitely worth the money especially if you're after better footage um, as in you're using a brushless gimbal or a GoPro or something like that on your actual quadcopter The Sunny Skies would definitely be a good way to go Anyway, I'll get some flight footage happening soon. I hope you found that helpful uh, Don't forget to thumbs up and to subscribe. It always helps and if you have any questions down below. Thank you